Hello and welcome back to another video here on stories from Bosnia and Herzegovina with me David, an Englishman in the Balkans. It's really muggy and sticky and going up now to the mid 30s so I'm doing this uh, in the early evening and I'm doing this a day late because we got back from filming yesterday and we were totally and utterly exhausted and this video is about uh, a pretty unique story, a little known story actually for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Well, at least for people that don't know too much about Bosnia and Herzegovina. And it's about the Italians of Mahlavani, which is a village um, not far from where we are now, our local town of uh, Laktashi. So between us and where we went yesterday is Laktashi. We went up onto a hill where there is a Catholic church, the Church of St. Francis of Assisi, and it was built by an Italian community. In the late 1800s, um, as the Ottoman Empire withdrew from this region uh, and the Austro-Hungarian uh, Empire uh, got the international mandate to have this part uh, of the Balkans, they brought foreign workers um, and they made little colonies uh, here, one of which was Italian. And there are still some Italian families here today. Not as many as back then, but there's certainly uh, an Italian influence with the church, with a super vineyard, massive vineyard which makes uh, wine and uh, also there is a, a restaurant in Lactarsia, our favourite one, the Stella Ristava uh, and it was there when I was trying to find out more about Italians that I bumped into Julia and Julia is the owner of the Stella Ristava, she's married to Beppe uh, who is a pure Italian, Julia is a, like an Italian from here um, but she left the country, went to England with her husband and they opened an Italian restaurant in Camden Town. You don't want me to talk too much about what's going on because I'm getting hot and sweaty and maybe you're feeling it as well. So this video is about that. You're going to see some of the beautiful countryside where the church is. We couldn't get inside it uh, because it was locked, but Julia had uh, another guest yesterday, uh, a Serbian uh, TV celebrity chef. Uh, he was there, so there was lots of fine food out. We uh, we sampled that. We also recorded an audio podcast. The link for that is below, as is uh, a link to the tourism office of uh, Laktashi, which is the uh, Opština where Mahlavani is in. So if you want to come to this part of the country, there's a link there and they will tell you about all the wonderful things that you can go and see in our Opština here. There's a link to Stella uh, Ristabar and much more especially our blog so please do enjoy the video and uh, until the next time stay safe wherever you are
Cabernet Sauvignon Pseni 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 What was it like growing up here with a family that had not only Serb Serbian influence but also Italian influence as well? But it, it was very different, you know, from all my, all my friends, from all my, you know, people that I know because it was, um, we, every year we have two Easter's, two um, Christmas and uh, it was completely different from other people that it's living here but it, it was very nice very nice anyway and uh, some um, uh, sisters and brothers from my grandfather every year came here from Rome and... 